Good morning and uh, welcome dear friends once again to this wonderful session of physics. Today my dear friends we are going to start with a new unit of our physics and uh, the name of that unit is gravitation. Gravitation. Now as far as this concept is concerned we have already done the basic introduction of this chapter in our class 9. Now dear friends, you all know about the two basic terms. The first out of which is the gravity and second obviously it will be the gravitation. Gravity and gravitation, these are the two terms that we are going to revise once again. We all know that gravity basically is the force of attraction with which a body is pulled towards the center of the earth. That means the force of attraction with which a body is pulled uh, towards the, you can say, center of earth. This is called the uh, gravity. Whenever you throw, whenever you release a chalk or you can say specs, it will automatically fall down. Reason? Very simple. Because of the gravity. That means the force with which the earth is pulling this object towards its center. And what is gravitation? You have understood that also. It is the force of attraction between it is the force of attraction between any two bodies. It means the force of attraction between any two bodies in this universe, in this universe, whatever there are two types of bodies and the force of attraction between them is considered as the gravitation. That means the force of attraction between you and me, the force of attraction between me and this blackboard, the force of attraction between me and this fan, that is gravitation. Now, in our class 9, we have learned that when we talk about that uh, Newton's law of gravitation, when we talk about the Newton's law of gravitation, bro, these are the basics, this is we have to recall, then we can start our topic. The Newton's law of gravitation, everybody knows, and this law is also called as uh, universal law, universal law of gravitation. And what does it say? It says that the force of attraction between any two bodies in this universe is directly proportional to the product of the masses of the two bodies and it is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. It is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Now when we combine both of these equations, when we combine both of these equations, what do we get? We get F is proportional to m1 m2 by r square or I can write f is equal to g m1 m2 by r square where what is capital G? Capital G is the force which is uh, called as the gravitational constant. Capital G is the gravitational constant and its value is always constant that is g is equal to 
6.67 into 10 raised to the power minus 11 and the unit will be Newton meter square per kilogram square. This is our value of G. So my dear friends, what we have discussed so far is the basic idea about gravity, about derivation, about the Newton's law of gravitation and its mathematical concept including the value of capital G. That means we now know about two things. First, which is small g, you all know that is uh, acceleration due to gravity, acceleration due to gravity and the second one is the capital G which is called as the gravitational constant which is known as the gravitational constant. Now our concern is what is the relation between small g and capital G. Small g or capital G may kya relation hai. Suppose you have two bodies and uh, out of which suppose one body is earth and the second body is the body of mass let us say small m and obviously the radius of the earth will be uh, naturally it will be given by capital R so if m is the mass of the earth m is the mass of the body which is uh, kept on the surface of the earth then I know according to gravity what will be the force of attraction? Obviously, you all know that will be mg. That will be mg. And according to Newton's law of gravitation, what will be the force? That also we have just calculated. It will be equal to g m m over r square. It will be g m m over r square. That means this is the force with which the earth is pulling the body towards the center and same force is the force between the earth and the body. Now it means these two forces will be same so I can do one thing, I can equate both. When I equate both, what do I get? I get mg is equal to capital G, capital M over R square. Now this M stands cancelled with this M and what is left with me? I am left with small g is equal to capital G capital M upon R square and what does it mean? It means that acceleration due to gravity does not depend upon the mass of the body. It does not depend upon the mass of the body. Now this is the value of G on the surface of the earth. Now my dear friends, you all know what is G that I have given you the value 6.67 into 10 raised to the power minus 11. Till now my dear friends, we are into revision among you all know capital G. It is 6.67 into 10 raised to the power minus 11 Newton meter square 
per kilogram square. And what is capital M? It is the mass of the earth. And what is the mass of the earth? That everybody knows. It is 6 into 10 raised to the power 24 kilogram. 6 into 10 raised to the power 24 kilogram. And what is capital R? The radius of the earth. That is 6.4. It is out there. Radius 6400 kilometers. That means 6400 and a half thousand meters. So when you go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, that means 6.4 into 10 to the power 6 meters. And when you keep all these values, here, your value of G comes out to be 9.8 meters per second square. It means this is the formula for the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth, my dear friends. Now, we will do one important article and that is how does how does the acceleration due to gravity that means small g varies with the height that means if i start lifting this body from the surface of the earth towards this direction that means upward Obviously, height will change. So, how this value of G is going to change? This will be my topic, my dear friends. And this we will be doing in our next class. I hope we are comfortably able to get the base revised. All of you are now aware of the terms that we are using. You know what is small g, you know what is capital G, you know what is capital M, you know what is capital R and small m. And the second most important thing is beta, you should always remember couple of information for your knowledge point of view, particularly the mass of the earth, the radius of the earth the mass of the moon, the radius of the moon. These are the things, a value of small g on the surface of the earth, value of capital G. So that whenever you practice the numericals, you develop the confidence and uh, you don't face any difficulty over there. So till we meet next time, take care of yourself and do revise because in next class we will be talking about how this changes when either we move up or even when we move down. Okay? All the very best, my dear.